Hi Sunrise, my name is Herbert Castillo and I'm so proud to be with you this morning. When um, your school reached out and asked that I keynote for this talk, to be honest with you, I was really nervous. I didn't exactly know what to say and I immediately started looking through my notes, I started asking my friends, I started wanting to be the perfect person to make sure I'd have the best advice for all of you. And I wanted to make stuff up. <laughs> So instead I went back and I took a look at my notes and 10 years ago, I wrote down when I was about your age, what I wanted to be in 10 years. So looking into the future. And <laughs> I'm happy to say that at that time, I thought I was gonna graduate from college, UC Berkeley with a degree in psychology and I'm happy to talk about it. But uh, as an immigrant who had divorced parents, I went to therapy. And from a young age, I thought that one of the best ways to help people was to be a therapist. So I wanted to be a psychologist and I thought, if I go to Berkeley, I can do that. But I was still not too sure because when I asked, the next question was, what is your career? And I wrote that I wanted to be a professional dealer for the World Series of Poker. And I just love <laughs> that my, even then I knew that my college career was not gonna have anything to do with my professional career. And I just wanted to think about that and start with that as a reminder that it's okay if you don't know exactly what you wanna do right now. And it's okay if in the next 10 years, everything changes around you and we can even take the moment of COVID to really reflect on exactly what it means to have something totally put a pause and allow us to think about what's next. And that's why I'm so excited to be here with you because in terms of what's next, it's each and every one of you. It's all of you who I'm excited to talk to and to make myself available because I am an immigrant, because I am someone from a single child background, because I am someone who didn't come from a traditional background of education. And I've been finding ways to make it work for me. And I've been finding ways to bring more education to my community. I've been finding ways to make my friends live better lives. And the way that I do that is by finding ways to be creative. One of the best tools that I have been able to use is curiosity. I believe that one of the core sort of difficulties that I experienced growing up was not knowing where my support was coming from. I grew up as a single child in a family that didn't really speak English. And I felt really alone in this country. As an immigrant, I didn't always know who to ask for help. And now I realize that I kept a lot of my emotions inside because I didn't want people to know that I was struggling. I didn't want my friends to think that things were going bad for me. And I didn't want my parents to worry because they had so much going on in their own lives already. And so I wanted to find ways to make money. I wanted to find ways to not have to focus my parents just on their own need to make more for me. And so I convinced myself that if I could have a job that made good money, if I could have a job that made my parents happy, that one day they would finally love me, that one day we wouldn't have to worry anymore about the bills, that one day I could take care of all of them, that one day I could go back to El Salvador and have a hug with my grandparents and I didn't get that before they passed away. And in the time that I spent going to high school, in the time that I spent getting my college degree, my grandparents passed away. As a political asylum, I couldn't go back to El Salvador and I feel trapped in America because I can't go back to visit. Even for a funeral, I could never go back. And the one thing I thought that I could do was really dedicate myself to education because it's the only way I saw how to use Palo Alto. I didn't have the skills to play sports at a competitive level, but I had education and curiosity. And at the same time, there's so many people who saw in me things that I didn't see in myself. There were leaders and mentors and people who supported me who were there when I didn't believe that people were around to provide the love, to say, Herbert, it's okay and we're here for you. I owe so much of my life to the people who have made sure that I'm here right now. 
oftentimes I struggle because I can become a big burden. When you start owing people things because you feel like it's for your life or because it's for your safety, and it's so difficult to stay creative and it's so difficult to stay curious when you're scared, when you're afraid. In those moments, I've had to really be on my own. In those moments, it's been about realizing that I owe it to myself to figure out what my purpose on this planet is. Regardless of what happens to me or what anybody has done to me, nobody can shake that I exist on this planet for a reason. I have the ability and the creativity and the curiosity to keep exploring. I'm so excited for the potential to work with each and every one of you as we deal with huge issues like climate change social inequity, racial inequity. I want to see more of you in the office with me. And I, ha I haven't found the perfect job. Most jobs don't want you to work for a church and for a garden and to be a gardener and to be a, a parent and to be six different things all at once because you need focus. But there's so many people in our community, and you know who they are, who need you. I feel like life put me in a position to see things that other people don't care about. If there's something that you see that you feel like you're the only person who sees it, I want you to know that you're not alone. It can feel very painful, but we have to stay rigid we have to stay resilient and we have to find those ways to stay strong as individuals and collectively we will find the strength to really deal with these tough issues that are holding us back. I'm so confident in the ability of each of you to lead us in that direction, to point us in the future that we need for not only us but for our children. I plead you that you stay curious, that you have fun, and that you reach out to people and let them know that you're here for them and that you are gonna be here for them and that you see yourself in this future in America, but in general for this world. Thank you so much for having me today and I can't wait to see what each and every one of you do with the rest of your lives.